Located in Landover, Maryland, in a busy section of the city across from FedEx Field, the Landover Mall was temporarily successful since they were the only enclosed mall in Southern Maryland for some time. Built by Sonny Abramson and Ted Lerner, who were both part of Lerner Enterprises, the mall opened on May 11, 1972. Located near Capitol Plaza Mall, a former outdoor mall, Landover Mall featured small stores as well as numerous anchor tenants throughout the 1.3 million square feet of space. The mall stood two floors while Sears itself was three. Featured architecture inside was the water fountain displays. Numerous geysers were programmed to change the height of the water shooting through its nozzles. The main fountain featured a platform with three circles that each represented a loop within the Capitol Beltway. The Capitol Beltway is an interchange at Landover Road. During Christmas, numerous holiday decorations were placed around the fountains. Some of the anchors during the busy days of Landover Mall featured local stores Hex, Woodward and Lothrop, also known as Woody's, and Garfinkel's. The mall also featured a Woolworth and Sears, with Sears even having their own gas station. The mall originally had a movie theater underneath in the basement, but closed in 1991. Garfinkel's was liquidated and had closed by 1990, but the empty store was never vacated again. Woody's also went out of business and closed by 1995. J.C. Penney moved into the Woody's location and soon, due to lack of sales, turned into a J.C. Penney outlet store by 1998 and closed in the beginning of 2001. Hex closed in 2002 after they moved to a new store nearby. While stores struggled and closed, Lerner closed the mall down completely. The mall closed on May 19, 2002, just eight days after celebrating their 40th anniversary since opening. The mall began struggling by the late 1970s and into the 1980s when crime in the area increased. By the late 70s, numerous stores stated that no $20 bills would be accepted. An article in the Washington, D.C. Business Journal in 1998 described the mall as, quote, dogged since the mid-1980s by perceptions, real and imagined, of crime, drugs, and violence in nearby communities like Palmer Park and Seat Pleasant, unquote. The White Flint Mall, which opened in 1977, lured many of the premier shops and tenants away from Landover. The Landover Mall never underwent any major renovations and had a hard time keeping up with competition. With crime and a better mall nearby, well-known retailers such as Raleigh's and The Gap left with other stores such as The Dollar Store and some local mom-and-pop stores coming into the Landover Mall. During the same time, the White Flint Mall lured in Bloomingdale's and Lord and & Taylor. The increase in traffic, especially during the use of FedEx Field during football games and other events, caused many customers to not want to go to Landover Mall. Many store managers complained to county executives, but nothing ever came about. In 1998, the head of economic development for Pepco, an electronic power company in D.C., Norman Carter said, quote, Landover basically needs to be blown up. Let Sears stay there and start over, end quote. With the mall sitting vacant for numerous years, the building was demolished between 2006 and 2007. The only remnant after demolition was Sears, which stood alone since Sears was the only store that owned the actual land. With no reason to come to the area, now the mall was gone. Sears finally sold the land to Lerner before closing their store in March 2014. With nearly 88 acres of land, Lerner has struggled finding a buyer for the area. After acquiring Sears, the FBI announced in 2014 that the Landover Mall area was a finalist for a new FBI headquarters, but by 2018, the deal fell through. Lerner also attempted to get a $645 million hospital to be built on the land, but that deal also did not go through. Today, the empty parking lot is primarily blocked off with portions of it being used as a metro parking for city transit. Mm -hmm.